Hi, this is George, and there's Buddy. And today I want to talk with you about a concept about money that I think is leading a lot of good-hearted people astray. And the concept is this. Money is, the, is a storer of value. Money represents how much service you've given in the world. So what that naturally means is, well, if I'm not making much money right now, that must mean I'm not adding value in the world. I'm not being of service in the world. No. And if someone who is making lots of money, we should, we should look up to them because how much value they're adding in the world, how much service they're giving in the world. No. That's not true either. It's the, the, the truth is that I've, I've come to understand is this. Money is the intersection of market wants and market supply. Simple as that. So what that means is if someone is making money, they have been savvy enough to understand what the market wants and they see that there's not an oversupply of that thing in the market so they can come in and sell that service or sell that product and make a living doing it, okay? Um, there are, market wants are not always healthy nor wise. I'll give you three examples. Junk food, example number one. There's lots of market want for it. Lots of companies make billions of dollars a year selling food with lots of artificial flavors, colorings, and um, really just bad ingredients that are slowly destroying, sometimes quickly, but definitely slowing, slowly destroying people's healths. And they engineer that food. They engineer it so that it becomes addictive because that's the way they can make more money. Are they adding value? Well, if you talk to someone who says money is a store of value, oh, yes, they're adding value. Well, if you look at the holistic picture of the community's health, of their long-term health, of the happiness of the family, if, the, if, the, if there's sickness involved, no, they're not adding value in a holistic and long-term way. No, they're adding very, very short-term value. Maybe, okay, so that, that's one example. A second example is pornography, right? L lots of people make lots of money doing it. Uh, and the third example, and again, it's a, a, addictive and it it's destroys people's sense about relationships and all that stuff, destructive. Third example is get-rich-quick schemes. There are lots of people selling... I can teach you how to make six figures and seven figures. And they themselves are making that money because they are tapping into the market want, the desperation, of, in fact, of a lot of people of wanting to make all that money. So they, 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 sell, they make six figures by selling you how to make six figures. Okay? Um, not, again, and, of course, there are also lots of other legitimate business teachers and coaches, but uh, there are, I've seen a lot more people who are popular who uh, it's questionable whether most of the people buying their stuff really are achieving the kind of results they, that they promise so um, uh, oh another one is people often get whipped up into a buying frenzy because they marketers know how to intensify market wants and they, they buying frenzy people become ravenous buyers those things are not good for the buyers souls okay it's not healthy to become ravenous and, 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 and crazy about your cravings, right? And so what is the solution then? What is the solution? We need to look at what the market wants, and the market wants many things. And we come alongside and say, all right, how can we meet a want in the market that we believe in, that we believe in? Okay, there are lots of wants in the market that we don't believe in, but how can we meet the market's wants that we believe in and uh, supply something that the, that the market isn't overly inundated with, so, which is why differentiating your service, meeting the market wants through your own flavor, and differentiating, clarifying that difference is so important. So anyway, this has um, hopefully given you some, some more insights on that question of money and healthier money. And until the next video, I wish you well.